Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Chikara's Podcast A Go Go, your weekly home for Chikara's brand of pro wrestling. My name is Gavin Loudspeaker. Before we get started this week, ladies and gentlemen, let me just address what happened here last week when Tim Donst decided to invade the podcast to go go. He even struck me down right here on my very own set. Now, I've never backed away from a bully in my entire life, Tim Donst. I don't plan on starting with you. But let me make one thing perfectly clear. I'm not a wrestler. I'm a ring announcer, I'm a commentator, and I am the host of Podcast A Go Go, the longest running wrestling podcast on the internet, and we don't stop for nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, this week we're going to take a look at action between Green Ant and Chikara's grand champion, Eddie Kingston, as they took on each other in non-title competition in Reading, Pennsylvania. Now this is going to set up, ladies and gentlemen, a match between these two in Gibsonville, North Carolina, coming up on May 3rd. Let's take a look right now at Green Ant versus Eddie Kingston. Fast really getting behind the Green Ant right now. Whoa. Whoa. Green Ant right back up to his feet after that shot to the mouth. Elbows, trade, and strikes here with Eddie Kingston. Both men maybe out on their feet. No. Oh. Those chops to the neck like that is right out of Kingston's own playbook and a headbutt as well. Slam, call it what you will, effective cover. The power of Green Ant. So close. A little slower to hook the leg if he grabbed that leg immediately, but I don't know how much Green Ant has left. He has taken a world of punishment here from our reigning grand champion. And now Bryce putting the count on both men. Really don't know what damage has been done to Green Ant. We do know that Eddie Kingston has suffered a ton of damage that left knee. Oh, absolutely. And Green Ant immediately grabs that leg, hopefully something in mind here, but instead Kingston rolls through, evade. Ah! Oh! Oh, I crunched him, my friend. Oh, what? A Wait a second, what is this? It's Kevin Steen out. Big Kevin Steen, and look at Wink Bobbins. So I don't know what he thinks he's gonna do there. Trying to stand between Steen and Kingston. That's ridiculous. Oh, wait a second. But, I mean, Eddie went to hit Steen, but there's no way that he, he got Wink Bobbins to a Carson. Well, I don't know what happened there. It just happened so quick. Wink got in between Eddie Kingston and Kevin Steen is not a place I would want to be. No, I think Wink had no business being there, but you know, the man's a bit clumsy. I think he fell over his own two feet. I don't know about that. He's probably a very graceful dancer. Uh, and you see security room, attending Bob, to Wink Vavasour. But right now, the distraction, Eddie Kingston oh, locked it. And he immediately tapped oh. onto the floor. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, action from Chikara's season premiere weekend that was Reading, Pennsylvania. Now off to Easton, Pennsylvania, where we saw current Young Lions Cup champion Mr. Touchdown taking on Saturine. This was quite a matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Some say a breakthrough matchup for the intergalactic luchadora. 
We're going to see Mr. Touchdown in action defending that young Lions Cup on May 3rd in Gibsonville, North Carolina against none other than the incredible high-flying Shiva Kid who took uh, the world by storm on National Pro Wrestling Day. So right now, let's take a look at action from Easton, Pennsylvania. Mr. Touchdown against Saturine. Golden Life, one of them. I'm gonna make Gorilla Monsoon proud. Going back that axe kick. Jeez. Off with his head. Oh my goodness. She she was kind of clipping the hair there, maybe not getting in the back, but but this third one, touchdown wised up. He was looking to behead her on that one. Satellite head scissors into it. And she's and got it trapped! She's got it trapped! The ropes, are, the ropes feel like they're miles away from the danger, and this one, Sugar, is yes. Saturning all the weight is off the ground. She has no control. Now, the thing is, I want to see if he's got enough. There we go. Powers it right oh! back. With the leg strap, so he, she's squeezing all the air out of him at the same time while having that sleeper on, but it looks like he might have to go. And back on, Saturine showing the tenacity of a multi-year veteran here. Yo, you, you've got to dig Saturine on this one. Win, lose, or draw, yep. she's showing everybody something here tonight. She is being lifted to a new plane despite the, the, uh, the, uh, the contest, despite the decision here. She's putting herself on a new level, maybe, maybe in a new galaxy, some might say. Look, look at this. It's, oh, a, it's a very interesting. Four. It's almost like a triangle choke. Figure four triangle. On top of him, and and, and, and while he, he he can't he can't really defend himself. Now she needs but, to but be she's, very she's careful. In a, she's in a she's in a dangerous she's position. She's got to hope he falls forward and not back, because then you get yourself in an electric chair drop situation. But it's looking like it's going the way she needs it. He's using her own her own uh, uh, her legs are choking him out. Wait a second now. Yost is in there. The and hand drops once. And these are the same legs oh, that pull up those powerful kicks. Might be dead weight. That's two. The hand drops a second time. That club into the mat, and we got a new chip. No, not so much. Not so much Still there. life left in touchdown yet, and it looks like he's going to try and power up on this one. No, it might not be a pat problem for him. Oh! oh! Again, brute force, brute power, and unfortunately, all the lucha, all the arm drags, all the kicks in the world, maybe no match for the power of our Young Lions Cup champion, Mark Angelo Setti. I think Daddy, Daddy Dunkerton said it best when he said, when brute force doesn't work the worst time, use more brute force. That's true. What is Daddy Dunkerton's first name, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, you don't talk about your dad by his first name. You don't say name. that? Nuh-uh, Daddy Dunkerton. OK, Mr. Dunkerton. Mr. Dunkerton. Mr. Dunkerton. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Sir, sir. Yeah, basically. And uh, they're, uh, Saturday, they're splitting the upright so to speak there, uh, Sugar. <laughs> Splitting the difference. Yeah, yeah. I, that, that, I don't know if that's going to be so much good. That will have to be some Mariah Carey high notes and notes. That's true. That's true. Know. Sweet emotion. I mean, yeah. Now Saturday all the way up there, high rent district. Oh, my oh. goodness gracious. The Hurricane run a very Chris Candido like what she was going for, but he looks like the power holds it up. Bringing her back up now. Got him. Super Mom, Super Mom, baby. Woo! Run into the ring. One, two. Champion if you Sugar. are a Halloween Havoc fan like myself, that is a similar reversal. Rey Mysterio pulled off on Eddie Guerrero, and uh, oh my God, that is ridiculous what she just pulled out. And it is moves like that that even, even with that kick out Saturday, she knows, she feels it right now, she knows she can beat the man. She needs to flick the analog stick. It's time to bust the special move out. We're going straight in 64 up in here. Oh, wait a second now. Springing into action. Oh, throw first across the rope. Hot shot over the neck. It's going to take the win right Touchdown out. Touchdown more or less has been wrestling a clean match. Oh, catches on the way down and connects with the crusher and folds her up. Successful defense by oh. Mr. Touchdown. I can't say that I agree with the tactics, man. The rope, the usage, everything that he's going on with it. I, I can't say that's the cleanest of victories that he could have got. He was wrestling a sportsmanlike contest until the end. The throw to cross ropes, and that wasn't the, 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 the decision maker in this contest. But let's not, for one second, take one iota of anything away from the performance of Saturday. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you check out Chikara Live when it comes to your area. The Chikara World Tour 2013 rolls on. We will be in Gibsonville, North Carolina, like I mentioned before, on May 3rd. May 4th, we are going to be in the Atlanta metropolitan area in Georgia. Then, May 18th, it's off to Chicago, the Windy City, for the Tag World Grand Prix. And then don't forget, our big return to iPay-Per-View is June 2nd. Never compromise from the Trocadero in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And ladies and gentlemen, check us here once again next week for the mothership, the podcast to go-go. I'm Gavin.